Hello, my name is Keith Bailey, here to do the NFC predictions for the NFL 2013 NFL season. Uh, again, I'm a new user. Please subscribe to me. I'm going to do NFL predictions throughout the year, along with weekly predictions of scores of games and stuff like that, and what I think is going to happen on a weekly basis. So, I mean, without further, further ado, let's get to it. I'm going to start with the NFC North, my fourth place team. I have the Chicago Bears. I have them. I have them going six and ten. I don't think they're gonna do that well. Brian Urlacher's gone. He was injured though, so this in some kind of sense he was never really there to an already good defense. Lovey Smith's gone and I think they struggled in that first year in my opinion. I think they're gonna go six and ten. Third place I have the Minnesota Vikings, and they have a tough schedule. They have to play the Saints, they have to play the Seahawks, they have to play tough teams in the NFC North that have been going 7 and 9. Uh, Adrian Peterson is a hell of a running back. He's, he's the bomb. And way better than Chris Johnson, never will be. I will admit that right now. But, I have been going 7 and 9. No repeat of the playoffs, but, Sometimes you gotta take that step back in order to take that step forward. The second place team I have Detroit. I have them going eight and eight. They were a victim to a lot of losses to close games last year. And Matthew Stafford, a lot of people still forget in 2011, he threw for over 5,000 yards. He threw for over 5,000 yards and had better stats than Eli Manning and didn't. And Eli Manning made the Pro Bowl. Matthew Stafford didn't. But Regardless of that, have them going in eight and eight season. I think Matthew Stafford is a bounce back year, and Reggie Bush gives this team a running game that they need. They have Calvin Johnson, they have Matthew Stafford, they have a heck of an offense. And if anything that kills them this year in their games is going to be their defense. One seed I have Green Bay. You know they're going to be back. They went fifteen and one, then eleven and five. I have them going twelve and four this year. And they should have really been 12 and 4 last year because of that Seattle game. But that's in the past. It, things are what they are, are what they are. It is what it is. I'm going 12 and 4. I have them as the two seed in the NFL playoffs for the NFC. So 12 and 4 is to pick Aaron Rodgers, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And that's that's quite obvious. And now we'll go to the NFC South. Fourth place, I have the Carolina Panthers. I have them. I have them at five and eleven. Cam Newton is a good quarterback. I think he breaks it this year, in my opinion. I, he had an amazing campaign the last two years, but he never really started hot. In fact, Carolina started two and eight and one and nine in the last two seasons, respectively, and have climbed back. To earn a respectable, relatively respectable record to end the year, have them at five and eleven. A three seed, no, not three seed, third team, third place team has New Orleans. They get Drew Brees back, they get Sean Payton back, but I just I see them as average this year. I don't know what it is. I just I just see them as average. Have them at seven and nine, and so I, you know, that's my opinion. I think they will be back in 2014. I think they need another year, in my opinion. Especially in the tough NFC South, whereas I have Tampa Bay Buccaneers as the sixth seed in the playoffs. They are ten and six, in my opinion. I think the Royal Revis is going to help, and I think Josh Freeman is going to have a relatively solid year. It's not going to be stellar, but it's not going to be terrible. He earns Shiano's respect, in my opinion, and he goes ten and six, and he makes it to the playoffs for the first time in his young career. So I have them as the sixth seed. In Atlanta, Atlanta, where are you? I have them as the three seed. They have had, behind the Patriots, the best record in the NFL over the last five years. Besides the Patriots. They're going to go 11-5, and five, I predict. So one game ahead of Tampa Bay. Enough to, definitely enough to make the playoffs. They win the division. I have them as a three seed. Matt Ryan, one of the most solid quarterbacks. The league has ever seen one of the most consistent quarterbacks the league has seen in a while. To the NFC East, fourth place team, I have the Philadelphia Eagles. Chip Kelly's new, quarter, uh, new head coach. They have a quarterback issue that seems to be resolved, Michael Vick. But I have them going 4-12. I 
I don't have them really doing anything special. I think the dream team and all the acquisitions they made a couple of years ago really, really hurt them. And I personally think they should have they shouldn't have gotten rid of Donovan McNabb because him under a new system just proved that it would it didn't work. I mean, he went to Minnesota, he went to Washington, and that never really ended up working. I have Dallas as the third place team. I have it in seven and nine. Last two seasons, Dallas has played the Giants and the Redskins in go to games, de facto playoff games, if you will. At the end of the regular season, and they, and they lost both of them by a wide margin. And I have them at seven and nine. I mean, they're just consistently mediocre. And I think that's going to be the same case this year. Tony Romo's a good quarterback. I give it to. I give props to him. I I like Tony. I like Tony Romo. <clears throat> I like what he does. I'm a I'm a Tony Romo supporter. I know there are very few of those, but you know what? It is what it is. Second place, I have the Washington Redskins. Robert Griffin III is an amazing quarterback. I think he's going to make the Redskins good for a very long time. I have them going 9-7, and seven, but I have them missing the playoffs. Hence the Buccaneers being the sixth seed at 10-6. and six, And them not winning the division would kind of solidify that. I have them at 9-7, and seven, missing the playoffs. But watch out for them in 2014. I think they're going to give the Giants a run for their money. And the Giants at 10 and 6 in the playoffs. Always dangerous, always will be. It's my prediction. Anytime the Giants get the playoffs, no matter what their record is, they somehow go on this fantastic Super Bowl run and they play the Patriots in the end. So, you know what? I think that's the four seat. So that's where I have the Giants. And now we go to the NFC West. I have the Cardinals as the fourth place team. I have that's not the Cardinals. This is the Cardinals. I have them going five and eleven. Carson Palmer gives this team a quarterback, and I think they're going to play in a lot of very very close games, but lose. They have a they have a solid defense. They have Larry Fitzgerald and Carson Palmer is he's not good, but he's no whatever quarterback they had last year. He's a lot better than all the other quarterbacks Arizona had. John Skelton. That's what his name was. So I have him going at 5-11, but losing a lot of close games. In third place, I have the St. Louis Rams. I have him going 8-8. Eight eight. Jeff Fisher is the head coach of this team, all right? He's going to give them an identity. I should know this. He coached my team forever. He's going to give them a tough mentality. They're going to be punch you in the mouth, hard nose, football, and... It's they're going to do very well within the division, I predict. I'm going to, I'm going to say give it one more year. Sam Bradford is going to have a good year. I think they're going to go eight and eight. But in any other division, I would say they would win. I mean, in the NFC East, I would say they would win. In the AFC North, I would say they would have won the division. They they just play in a division with the Seahawks and 49ers, so that's kind of bad luck at the time, at the wrong time to get good. Second place, I have the Seahawks in the NFC West. I have them 11 and 5. Really turned it up last year. They were 4 and 4, and then they they went 7 and 1 to close up the year, and they blew out their teams. They're going to be fantastic this year. I have them as the 5 seed, which means they play the Cinderella Giants in the first round, but we'll get to that later. But. Uh, Russell Wilson is going to be a very, very good quarterback for this team in the future. And number one, 49ers. I, Colin Kaepernick. I mean, I, I gotta give him props. He's amazing. He's an amazing quarterback. This team has an amazing defense and an, an amazing receiver core, an amazing running back, and a fantastic offensive line. I mean, th this team's got it all to make another Super Bowl run. And they they made the Super Bowl last year. And they did it with two quarterbacks quarterbacking the team the entire year. So I think they go 13-3. and three. I think they're the one seed. I really do believe in them that much. So that gets me to the playoffs. Let me get rid of these teams. The first game, I have the six-seeded Buccaneers traveling to play the three-seeded Falcons. I think this is where Tampa Bay season comes to an end. Like Matt Ryan, especially at home, tends to play very well. The Falcons win. Next game, 
I think Seattle finally ends the Giants' runs in the playoffs. I think Seattle wins uh, by a wide margin, to be honest with you. I think Seattle is going to make some noise in that game, and they're going to play on. Next game, Seattle again. They're going you know, to travel to San Francisco. This is where things get interesting. I don't have San Francisco going on another Super Bowl run. I have them as the one seed, but Seattle is their kryptonite. And I think Seattle sweeps them in the regular season. I think two of their three losses come to Seattle. So, I think they split the regular season series and Seattle breaks the tie in the playoffs. That's what I think. That's just what I think happens. So, Seattle goes to the NFC Championship. And this game, good times. I remember watching this game a couple years ago. The Packers lit it up. And I think the Packers... What do I have? I think the Packers just do it again. You know, I like Green Bay's offense. I think it's going to be interesting. And, of course, you know, it only makes sense to get the championship game of the two teams that had it out last year. Packers and the Seahawks. I have the... I gotta have Seattle win. I mean... I know they're traveling to Green Bay, and I know it's going to be cold, Slambo Field in January. Seattle's just a very good football team. I think they prove a lot of doubters wrong, and I think they make it to the playoffs. And you watch, if you watched my video before, they're going to play the Broncos. And leave comments below on what you guys think the score is going to be. I'm going to tell you that I, I have no idea when it comes to these two teams. I'll let you guys decide that down in the comments below if you guys watch this video. This is, I think, what is going to be the Super Bowl. As always, thank you for watching my video. So please subscribe to me. It would be awesome if you do. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.